Many unemployed young people in Ethiopia blame their status on lack of opportunity and money. Now the government is offering close to $500 million through loans to those most vulnerable between the ages of 18 and 34. There are many uh, lists of works there, both in rural and urban areas. They will choose that type of work and then organize at least five of them come together and establish a messy micro and small enterprise. Then the government allocates, uh, I mean, it will fund that business and they will do and uh, return their credit. That is the way the government is thinking. The funds will be disseminated through financial institutions at local level. The news has been received with mixed feelings among the target age group. Through this provision, youth can get a profession and earn money. It doesn't matter if they decide to work in nightclubs, whatever it is. They will get confidence and meet people. Let's try first. And if not, we can um, produce our workers. We can produce like uh, new jobs for ourselves. And uh, don't expect on the government only. So we can try uh, our best for doing a job. Or doing an opportunity. However, people like Philehun Gebre Johannes, who have worked privately with young vulnerable people for 16 years, have reservations. He says he tried similar initiatives before with the groups he assists and it proved complicated. It's really very tough also. The pressure is also very tough on the youth because without knowing the management of money, without knowing the, the hardship to earn money, giving them such certain amount of money and saying that you have to start a business and after a while you have to pay it back. That's really tough. But government says the benefits go beyond that. We will give them not only a lump sum money for them, but it, we will distribute that money through different mechanisms. For example, if they want to buy machinery, the, the bank will buy that machinery and provide to them. And if they want to raw materials for processing, then the bank uh, or uh, microfinance institutions buy that uh, uh, raw material and bring to them, and they will process and sell. For now, the government is raising more awareness about the opportunity and encouraging more unemployed young people to tap into these new funds. A monitoring committee has been established comprising of members of national to local levels. It will check on the performance of the fund and also get feedback from the young people who have used it. Coletta Anjoy for CGTN in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.